Sunrise above Coilbren football field. As we pivot north, Dolhendred's houses slide into view and behind those lies the Brecon Beacons National Park. Next to the White House is a gate to a magic woods. As we enter, a footpath descends into Craigleach Gorge, a treasure trove of rare ferns and mosses, and home to submerged tree fossils preserved hundreds of millions of years ago in a mass extinction event. Many visitors leave votive offerings. Its river is called Nanchech, meaning slab stream. If you friggin' love geology, you might know those slabs are carboniferous mudstones and sandstones. Sometimes the Nanchech trickles, sometimes it swells. Such as here during Storm Christoph, when impromptu waterfalls feed its relentless passage two miles towards the River Tawi. A work nature has sculpted since the last ice age. The East End is home to Henred Falls. Here in full spate. Though this white column flow down the geological fault is perhaps more typical, as it tumbles over hard sandstone known as the Farewell Rock. A boy is said to have jumped from the ledge in the 1930s, hitting his head on a rock and dying. Since then, swimmers report feeling a hand clutch their ankle as they leave the plunge pool, or so the internet says. But Henred Falls is now more famous for appearing in Batman, and infamous for being a hideout for illegal ravers fleeing from police during the 2020 lockdown imposed after COVID-19 winged its way from Wuhan, a subtropical monsoon city many river crossings east. We continue west on a misty morning, but stay local, where Dolhenred runs into Coilbren. The White House now appears to our right, moving to centre. And here at street level. The Green Baptist Chapel on the left moves to the bottom right of our picture as Dolhenred becomes Heoleglois. Coilbrand's houses range from 1876 to contemporary. Coilbrand Church may be 13th century, albeit what was once a humble oratory chapel is much altered with five substantial renovations and additions made between 1799 and 1914. In the last few years, the post office, the school, the health centre have closed. The football team has disbanded. Good news though, after three years the shop is reopening and it has a slush machine. Let's walk through the fields towards a disused, not strictly accessible railway embankment. We can walk through the cattle creep or turn right onto Station Road, where once there was indeed a station converging where these trees are. The anglicised Colburn opened in 1873 and closed to passengers in 1962, but Coilbren would double up as the open country of South Africa in the 1971 picture The Young Winston before the line shut to freight in 1977. 
Gorslönkoch farm is highly resistant to a Google search, but I do know a friendly border collie greets walkers who avail themselves of the path under the cattle creep. One turning leads to Banwen, another to a crazy exciting Roman fort across these fields. Wildlife options are available en route. Fun fact, the snowy peak behind the nearby television mast may be Van Brecheniog, roughly six and a half miles north at an elevation of 800 metres, about the height of Burj Khalifa. If not, answers below please.